bounding out of the brush, heading straight for me, with the bird clamped in its mouth, came the happiest face I have ever seen. Madame Chairperson, Honorable Judges, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Fellow Forge Members. That was my vision when I first saw my new dog, Maggie. Spur Spaniels are known to be great hunters. However, training books and internet sites all suggest that dogs require specific training to become good hunting companions. That was when I knew I'd as much to learn as Maggie did if we were going to be a great hunting team. Today I'm going to tell you what I've learned about puppy nutrition, the importance of socialization, and early basic command training. Maintaining good nutrition and having a healthy weight is important for hunting dogs, as they need to be able to run and walk for long distances in the field. The veterinarian explained that puppies need just a half a cup of high-protein food twice a day. Maggie is very curious and wants to eat and chew everything. I was doing okay monitoring her food intake until New Year's Eve. My sister had made homemade ice cream, but there was no more freezer space, so she put it outside to keep it cold. I'd put Maggie away in her kennel. At least I thought I had. When I went to check the ice cream, I found the container cracked open and Maggie with a sticky face full of snow. We did not get any supper, and Maggie did not get any supper either. Bill Cooper, a well-known outdoor educator, suggests that being social with your dog will help support your lifelong hunting partnership. He explained that once a strong bond is established, a dog's desire to please their owner can be more powerful than any treat when training. This has been the fun part of training Maggie. We go running a lot and jump on the trampoline. Everything I read about dog training says that early socialization with other dogs and people is important for puppies to learn to stay calm. I took Maggie to a campout reunion with many people and dogs. She was nervous at first and hid under my lawn chair. I encouraged her confidence by putting her favorite toys and treats by her. I also talked calmly to her. Before long, she was the life of the party. She went around the circle, stopping and getting belly rubs from each person. Maggie seemed to be naturally so so, so this train task has been enjoyable for the both of us. One basic command, or all bird dogs should know, is to come, or they may end up chasing a bird for miles. I have a field behind my house that would take Maggie out with a long leash. At random times, I would say, come! If she came, I would give her a praise and treat. If she did not come, I would pull her back with the leash before giving her a treat. This got so good that I decided to go one day without it. This turned out to be a mistake. Maggie got on the scent of several mule deer who flushed from the tall grass. My command of come did not work. She eventually returned on her own with a proud walk and what seemed to be a definite smirk. <sighs> we have a long way to go, I thought. As you can see, during my first six months of training Maggie, I have had some challenges. I have learned that it's a lot harder and will take a lot longer than I first thought. I have discovered while puppies are cute, curious, and playful, they are also easily distracted. Sasha Parent, a well-known hunter blogger, said, quote, You'll have all your life to improve your dirt bird dog's obedience while having fun. End quote. I look forward to a lasting companionship with Maggie and one day seeing my vision of her running towards me with a pheasant in her mouth coming true.